Okay, welcome back everybody. We're still doing our body weight interval with regressions. We are progressing the last session we done. Okay, so this one's a little bit tougher. If at any point you feel uncomfortable, do what we done in the previous session, okay? Uh, same story, eight sessions, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and we will be taking you through it, okay? Cool, our first one is the full sit-up. So on your back, on the mat, I'll get the timer. It's a full sit-up. On this one, we want the legs straight. So straighten your legs. You're gonna sit up and touch your toes. Okay, you're welcome to throw the arms up. The reason I like this one is it just, not only does it work the abdominals, but it also just gets that, the posterior chain, those hamstrings, the lower back working. Okay, let's get the timer. We'll start in three, two, one, and time on. Let's go. Cool. Try to touch your toes if you can. And if you can, keep your feet straight up. Okay, keep those feet straight up. Perfect. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. If you feel comfortable, you can cross your arms over your chest. So you cross the arms over the chest, so you take away the momentum. You're still reaching, or you're still pushing forward though. Perfect. 10 seconds left. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. If you do get tired, throw the arms or regress to the crunch. Okay, perfect, well done. Next one is the push-up release. Last session, we only held the push-up plank. So this one you'll do on your toes or on your knees, and you can do a few on the toes first. We're gonna release at the bottom. The release does two things. It forces you to go all the way down. So all the way down, hands release and push, perfect. Okay, it forces you to go all the way down. It's much harder. It forces the core to engage before you push up again. Okay, and when you do the push up, you want your hip and you want your chest to touch the ground at the same time. And then you also want the chest and the hip to release at the same time, to leave the ground at the same time. Okay, and a regression, just only a couple on your knees for us, please. There we go, and release, and push up. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Working the chest, tricep. Because of the release, we're gonna be working that back a bit more as well. Okay, perfect. Number three is our backward lunge. I'll move the mat out the way. I'm gonna face the door for me. Okay, that's perfect. Come on, forward. Okay, nice big step back. Big step back and drop the back knee. Okay, so I like this exercise for a couple of reasons, but the main one is because you're stepping backwards, your momentum is going back. Okay, when we lunge, we never want the knee to go over the toe. We always want the knee to stay there. So you can even go a slightly bigger step for me and drop that back knee down. So the focus here needs to be dropping the back knee down. Okay. So I like it because the momentum's going back and it's easier to keep that knee from coming forward. You can exhale as you come up. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let your breathing also set the tempo and the speed at which you do the exercise. Perfect. Okay, our next one is the walkout. So you're gonna do it from that side. So you're gonna stand in front of your mat. Okay, legs nice and straight. You wanna keep your legs as straight for as long as possible. You're gonna bend forward, hands down, walk out, and walk back. Okay, perfect. When you go back, keep your legs as straight as possible. Okay, what I want you to do is all the way back, just bend your knees. If you feel calm, uncomfortable, bend the knees, bend, bend. No. You can walk back, no, no, walk back and bend the knees as you go back. It just takes the pressure off the hamstring, okay? Sorry, she, that's, she doesn't understand the easier <laughs> version, only the hard one. Okay, but try keep the legs as straight because it just works that posterior chain, loosens it up, great for mobility of the posterior chain, the shoulders, the upper body. Perfect, nice and straight when you come up, hands down, and core nice and tight. There are progressions to this, of course, but for today, this is what we are doing. Okay, and relax. Toe jumps next. So just the same one we've done in the warm-up. I hope you've done the warm-up. Okay, feet together and just jumping on the toes. Okay, nice and high. You can cross your arms, you can have your arms by your side, wherever you're comfortable. Okay, that's the time one. Okay, if for any reason you have a Achilles injury or ankle injury, you're welcome to do the toe rock for us here. So you can just, honey, will you do a toe rock? You can just face me. 
Yeah, and just toes up and push up. Okay, and try not to rock the hip back as you go. Okay, that's a little bit easier. We're working the calf and the tibialis anterior, but you can go back to the jump. Thank you very much. Okay, nice and high. You want to feel those calves working. Great exercise for runners. Okay, and relax. Awesome. Crab lifts. There we go. So crab lift. So if you're into crab position, you're just going to lift the hip up. Okay, take it down. Inhale, exhale, and come up. Inhale, exhale. Again, use it to set the tempo. Okay, time's on. You can start. Use the breathing to set the tempo. When you exhale, very important. Pull your belly button in towards your spine, tighten the core, squeeze the glutes. Remember, the glutes don't want to do any work. So you have to make a mental note that you're squeezing the glutes as you come up. Okay, great. Great for shoulder mobility. You're going to feel those shoulders, you're going to feel those triceps working, you're going to feel the glutes, you're going to feel the core. Okay, great exercise for mobility. Well done. Okay, next one is our alternating um, leg. Our alternating uh, good morning. You can just face that way for me. What you can do is if you have a chair, you can just use the chair. And as you do the leg, you'll alternate each leg. Okay, down and alternate. Okay, and you can just use the chair to just try to get a line where you are. Get your hands, get a little bit of balance. And off you go. Okay, it is a tough exercise, take your time. Don't rush through it and I will just move the chair away. Thank you. You can also use the wall. So if you'll just, yeah, if you'll just do the wall first, so you can just use the wall as well. Try not to put all your weight into the wall. Okay, just, just for a little bit of balance. Perfect, okay, can face this way again. Last 10 seconds, perfect. Exhale as you go down, core nice and tight. Gonna get that leg up nice and high. Perfect. Okay, and then our last exercise is just a side shuttle. You can use the length of the mat and you're just gonna go sideways. Okay, and just to get that heart rate up a little bit again. Okay, off we go. Okay. You can move, you can just move sideways. If you want to add, you can touch at the bottom. So as you get to the corner, you can touch with the opposite hand. There we go. That's optional. breathing and move nice and quickly ten seconds left keep pushing come up nice and straight in the middle so if you are reaching down just remember to come up straight as well okay and that's it well done High five, yeah. good job. Good job, well done. Sure. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you have any questions or anything you felt uncomfortable with, please feel free to send us a message. Okay. Thanks. Cheers.